this is Dave Kale, and welcome to this podcast designed for Christian business people. If you want to, if you want to come to know God, start a business. Let me explain. From the very beginning of creation all the way through the Bible to today, God established work and by extension business as the primary occupation of mankind and the fundamental place where he would interact with man and develop a relationship with him. Now, if you're a Christian and own or run a business or, or a significant portion of that business and you want to create a relationship with God, look for him in your work. Now, I realize that position conflicts with uh, the position that's often, often proclaimed by the religious establishment, which uh, generally holds that you create a relationship with God through the services of the institution. But many of them, uh, for many of them, a business is a necessary evil, which only exists to provide money for their institutions. Unfortunately, a great many Christian business people have accepted that teaching, and that has resulted in literally millions of Christian businesses and Christian business people never attaining the spiritual potential and the kingdom impact that God wants for them. It's too bad. Let's, let's see what scripture has to say about it. I'm going to read from Ephesians 2 and 10. For we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Now this is, what, this is one of the fundamental ways in which God works with his people. He's prepared good works for them to do, and he expects them to do them. Not only does he expect them to do them, but he works with them to accomplish that good work. Now, there's, there's, the Bible is full of examples of him working with mankind in this way. I mean, let me just, let me just name a few. Noah was given the task to build the ark and save the animals. God worked with him to accomplish it. Moses was given the charge to lead the people out of Egypt, and then God worked with him to do it. Joshua was given the charge to take the promised land from the inhabitants, and God worked with him to do it. David was given the charge to unite Israel into a, unite, uh, into a unified kingdom, and God worked with him to do it. John was given the charge to prepare the way for Christ and enabled by the Spirit to do it. Jesus himself was given the charge to usher in the kingdom of God and was en- enabled to do so by the power of his, fear, of, of his Father. Paul was given the charge to take the kingdom to the Gentiles and provided the power of the Holy Spirit to do it. You see, over and over again, uh, God gives a work to his children and then works with them to do it. Now, the examples I just gave you are, are examples of you know the grand movements of God as he unfolds his plan for the universe, but they uncover a precedent in how God works with all his people. He gives them a task and then he works with them to do that task. And in the working together, we come to know God and develop a relationship with Him. We all we all understand that from our own experiences. You know, when we work with someone, we get to know them and we develop a relationship with them. And so it is with God. He He ordained that phenomena. You know, that system. Work together, you come to know one another. So, one of the primary ways in which He gives mankind tasks is to give them businesses. Every business is a good work created by God in advance. Now as such, he wants, he wants to work with us in that business just like he has since the first days of creation. Those of us who own or run businesses know this, of course, from our personal experience. The process of building and running a business uh, presents us with uh, an obstacle course of challenges and defeats and victories and decisions Keep us constantly asking for God's advice and intervention. If, if we had never read about it in Scripture, we would still acknowledge it from our own lives. Our own lives tell us that running a business and trying to build a business is, is an activity that thrusts us to the throne of God. And it's in business that we're challenged with tasks that seem bigger than our abilities, you know, and and dealt with adversity that often threatens to derail us. It is in business that we accept the responsibility to support and care for employees, to find and satisfy customers, 
to bless investors and vendors. And it is in business in which God wants to work with us in all of these decisions and challenges and relationships. He set that precedent in some of the first words he said to Adam. Remember the first job he gave to Adam? He said this, now the Lord God, I'm reading Genesis 2, 19. Now the Lord God has formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So God gave Adam the job of naming the animals and brought them to him. There it is for the very first time. God gives man a task, a good work, in other words, and then works with him to accomplish that task. And